looking for the right candidates to see your job posts and apply? Are you trying to find a needle in a haystack? Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Dear lucky winner, you are the successful candidate for the free trip to Mars. Please come to the Galaxy Studio office in central London for your briefing. Please dial 123 Homeschooled now for more info. Good luck. Welcome to Homerock C3805. Robots are soon to take over the Earth as we know it. But it's in your hands to save them. You can only save 78% of the world population in the time that you have. How many people are 78% of the world population? Want to find out how to solve this dilemma in record-breaking time? Continue watching. Hey everyone, today we are dealing with percentages, particularly percentages of amounts. So let's start off with defining what exactly a percentage is. Percent means per hundred or for every hundred. In this case, we have 50%. We have the value and the percentage symbol. If I was to illustrate what 50% of an amount would look like, everything would be halved. Why, you may ask? Well, 50% is 50 for every hundred, and 50 is exactly half of 100. But rather than tell you, let me show you. Here we have 90%. 90% is 10% less than 100%. If I was to illustrate it in a 10 by 10 grid, you would find 90 out of the 100 squared are filled in, while the remaining 10 are not. Similarly, we have another 10 by 10 grid, showing what 75% of an amount would look like. 75% is 25% less than 100%. So, 75 for every 100 squares are shaded in to accurately illustrate this percentage. Now, look at 50%, half of the grid. Then 35, now 17, then 8%, and finally 1%. This is what these percentages look like. So how then do we calculate them? Here, we have a Snickers chocolate bar. Now, if I wanted to be fair and split it equally between both you and I, I would divide it into two. This is how I would calculate 50% of any amount. Each piece we both now have is 50% of the original amount. So putting it back together again makes it whole. 50% plus 50% totals 100%. So how would we get 25% then? Well. 4 lots of 25 is 100, so the Snickers bar would have to be divided by 4 in order to calculate 25% of it. We follow this same pattern when trying to calculate any percentage of an amount using division. We know to go from 100% to 10%, we would have to divide by 10, or from 100% to 1%, we would have to divide by 100. Knowing the basics will help to solve even more difficult percentages like 63% or 24% of something. Observe what happens to the original value to navigate around the constellation according to their percentage values. From 100% to 50% we divide it by 2. Then from 50% to 10% we divide it by 5. We see the same thing here and here too. Submit your answers. Come on, send your answers to quickmaths at homeschool.com. We can't wait to hear from you.